Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> Coach, uh, you've been up in the box the past two games. How do you think that transition has helped out this defense? Uh, I think it just helped out. Uh, that's, where I, that's where I had been my previous 14 years in uh, college coaching it was, has been in the box. Uh, came down, um, I went up, excuse me, uh, Notre Dame, but I came down because at the beginning of the year I asked the, the, the defensive backs how they feel more comfortable at the time uh, with me down or up, and they said down. So that's how that came about, but they're comfortable now uh, as far as, you know, sideline adjustments and things like that. So I uh, decided to go up, uh, and, and it's, it's kind of funny because uh, after the uh, NC State game, I come in and talk to the defensive staff about going up, and some of them were like, yeah, that's a great idea. That same day, Coach Taggart comes up to me and says, hey, I got a question. What you think about going to the box? I said, who you been talking to? He said, I didn't talk to anybody. I said, come on, Coach. And so that was confirmation, you know what I mean? Thinking the same thing, basically. And so last two games I've gone up, and, uh, and it's helped out a lot. I mean, that's where I'm comfortable with. That's where I've been. And you can see everything, you know, from up there. How does it help having Coach Snyder, the relationship you guys have? That helps also because, like you said, the relationship is already there. Uh, we understand one another. He knows uh, when I say something, you know, this is what we're trying to do. He may say, I saw this, Harlan, or what have you. And it's funny because he's normally been a guy that's been on the field. So we just kind of got back into our comfort zones, of, so to speak, uh, on game day. And uh, obviously it worked out pretty pretty well, at least last week. So we'll see if we keep it going. It may sound obvious that you you can see everything from up there, correct? I guess what does that do for you as, as a play caller and seeing the? Well, it helps out a lot, and that's how I've been used to seeing it over the la my, my whole career. Um, I can, like you said, see things. Um, it's like you know, Coach Tiger used this a little bit. I said, like, you know, you're right. Kind of like watching film all week. You know, that's how you watch it from that bird's eye view, and so that has helped me out tremendously. And and, and like again, that's what I've been doing my whole career. You guys challenged the players. To, they had a big challenge last week, and AJ Dillon. The way they responded to that? Absolutely, they 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 uh they responded extremely well. The guys went out and played hard. Um, we knew they were going to come in and try to be a physical football team, and they're a well coached football team at, at that. And our guys uh, stood up to the challenge, and uh, we got another challenge this week. Got another big challenge this week. These guys are going to try to run the football, and our, and our number one goal is to stop the run. So our guys know we got to come out and be ready to play physical football. They have a they run it differently than Boston College, or is what you do similar and just reacting differently or do you have to kind of adjust your approach? Um, you know, they do something similar to BC, not everything, not as much of it, uh, but we just got to be able to go out and, and, and read our keys, play fast, physical, downhill, and if we do that, we'll be fine. So uh, everybody must dominate their gap, and that's what we've been talking about. Dontavious has something like 25 tackles in the last two weeks. What do you see from him over the last He's, he's really turned it on, man. Really happy for him. He's playing well. He's practiced well. And, uh, and, and that's translating into, uh, into games. And so uh, really happy for him. I really like the young man. Uh, has, has really come a long ways since we've gotten here. Uh, not only as a player, but as a person. He's a good kid and, uh, and really cares. Very emotional. But, you know, he's learning how to control those emotions and, and turning them into positive football plays. You mentioned emotions. You've obviously been part of a, a big time rivalry in Michigan, Michigan State. But yeah. do you have to talk to the kids about managing their emotions anymore for, for a game like this? Absolutely. You definitely do because you don't want to get so caught up that you get a personal foul or something like that. You still got to be able to play with a, a controlled rage, so to speak, uh, without, you know, doing some something that's not smart. I'm not going to use the other word I was going to say, but doing something that's not smart. Coach, you mentioned. Uh, keeping this thing as simple as you can, simplifying things as the season has progressed. Uh, do you need to see if you could drop back into more zone concepts at, at times when you're facing down distances a, a third and long? And, the field? and yes, that's what we, that was, we've tried to do. Um, our guys got to get used to doing that type of stuff because uh, we are more of a man match team. But uh, when we do have zone situations, understanding the down and distance and not jumping on the, the short things and 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 that's rallying to make that tackle if they throw it down low and short. So uh, you know it's something that we, we're working on, and we'll continue to get better at. You talked about rallying to the ball. Um, it seems like you guys did a much better job of that on Saturday, and you know it really helped out obviously with AJ Dillon, um, you know being as big as he is and as strong as he is. Just uh, you know what uh, what changed because it seemed like that uh, that was a big change from. Uh, 
I, I think keeping it as simple as we did, and we were already a simple defense, but we, we even broke it down even more. And those guys just were flying around. They were excited. They know what was. They know what's on the line. Uh, and so um, we want to see more of that, and, and then some this week. Uh, guys flying around, making plays, and having fun doing it. Stanford, with his move from field safety back to corner, he's had safety the last few weeks. You talked about kind of what made him, you thought, good for the field safety role. What makes him good as a cornerback? He's his length. And, and, and he's comfortable out there. He's a long guy that's comfortable out there on the edge, and it's what he's done. Uh, for you know, through high school and, and through his first part of here, first part of his career here, so you see his comfort level. As soon as he went back out there, even in practice, you saw him like, oh yeah, here, here we go. I'm back to where I'm used to being, and uh, and that was a sacrifice for him to go to the safety force, and we really appreciated that. But now he's back into his comfort zone, and and you see him making plays. Do you anticipate Florida trying to, to I don't know. Uh utilize that back of quarterback Emory Jones a little bit more in this game. I think he, he's, he's played three games, so they could play him one more time to, to maintain, his, maintain his red shirt. Is that something you guys are planning for, possibly seeing more so than, than other teams have? We uh, we wouldn't be surprised, you know what I mean? So we understand that he's a really uh, a good talent for them, and uh, and if he comes in the game, we'll be ready to go. But uh, he's a good football player. He's a good football player, and we'll be ready. Awesome college called, I think, three or four different trick plays. and. You know, they were prepared for it. You guys were prepared for it every time. I'm sure that's something you worked on, but uh, I guess how pleased were you with the discipline and being able to anticipate, especially because they did it two years ago and it didn't go as well. I got you. Very pleased. We talked about it. And a lot of times, if you play on principle or play with great eye control, what we always you'll be fine. You won't get fooled. It's, a, it's about just looking at what you're supposed to look at. When you're not looking at the right stuff, that's when it seems like you got fooled. But then you go back and look at the film and say, if I just looked at this guy, he didn't do anything special. He just ran down the field. But because my eyes were taken by some other deception going on in the backfield, I gave up a play. So we, we really focused on keeping having great eye control, and our guys did a good job. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. And, and being good at that means you're probably doing well like when they're just running traditional plays too. Right, right, because it's all about a discipline thing. I discipline, I control, and uh, and when you do that, you give yourself a chance to make plays and, and, and be in the right position. What kind of boost have young guys like Dennis Briggs, Asante Stanley, Robert Cooper, freshman, playing in the second half of the season? How, how has that helped you guys out? I think it's helped us tremendously because uh, not only for now, but going into the future uh, as as – future players for us making plays on the field but being leaders off the field also so those guys have done a great job for us and we, we really we really really um uh pleased with how they're doing is that a balancing act to figure out when to put in a young guy because you could put in a lot of pressure i guess like how do you determine when someone's ready to help well by practice and um and we always say best players play so if they're out there performing in practice and and they're you know they're they're, they're earning reps so to speak then hey let's go He's right there, so I won't ask you too loud. But what was it like having him kind of come in the game last week, Emmett? And I mean, coach said that he's kind of still finding his way after that knee injury, but it looks like he's he's playing well. Man, he looked great. He looked great. You know, one thing about Emmett, people don't know, or if they don't know, they will know now. He, he's a sharp football player. He understands not only his position, but where everybody else fits. And when you're like that, you're able to make plays because you know where to be and your, as far as your role is because you know where everybody else is supposed to fit. So you know how to – you're a piece of the puzzle. You understand where I fit and everything and understand how they're trying to attack us. He, he's a sharp football player, man, and, he, and he's, he's, he's tough, and he can run and he'll hit you. So um, he has a bright future, in my opinion. Thanks.